Good morning chums, what about you? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shuck and I've got a, a lovely little video on a, a, a new GEC to my collection. I've had it a while now but I, I've been a naughty boy as I've told you before. I've bought quite a few recently in the last couple of months so I'm going to intersperse them in between other videos so you don't get overloaded with GEC. Although to be honest with you I could do one every day. <laughs> so what have I got with you today? Right look it comes in the tube, this is a Tidiot. It comes in the tube and this is a number 35 pattern. The first blade is a clip point and there's two blades and it was made in 2017. And it's maroon linen micarta. Linen micarta, if you're not too sure, is the smooth polished version. It's not rough at all. You can rough it up yourself with a bit of uh, wet and dry or something if you wanted to. But I just wouldn't do it because I'd be frightened of doing the bolsters or whatever. So... I'm very happy with it the way it is. It's a beautiful knife. Now, what sort of knife is it? Well, it's an equal end pen knife to me. There's two blades, one coming from each, each, each end of the knife, but also each end of the knife is exactly the same thickness. So it's a Churchill cigar pattern. There's a whole lot of names there. Use whatever the hell you like. To me, it's a two-bladed pen knife. Dead simple. It's, it's a more robust looking pen knife. Now, it's not over thick. But it is a robust looking pen knife. There's a good girth to it. If I, if I can show you, let me just show you. There is a number 93 um, Swiss Army knife. This is a single blade version. So you can see that it's a little bit thicker, or widthwise I should say. But if I put them spine to spine and let you see, there's not that much difference. There's a bit more girth in this than there is in a single blade. But I think it just looks bigger and bulky more than what it really is, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just a really good size pen knife. Now, it has a lovely um, bar shield at the front there, or hot dog. I mean, again, <laughs> GEC and, and uh, uh, some of the pen knives have so many different names and, and people will pick you up for what you call them. I don't particularly care. And I do try and I'm learning to pick up the lingo, but it's a process for me because I've had 60 odd years of not not doing it so it, it's hard to cram it all in and what people call right and what people call wrong don't worry about it it's a pen knife but the lovely hot dog shield or I would say the long, London tube seal um, shield you know you just have the circle normally on the long oh, stop Stephen right <laughs> here we go <laughs> it's got brass liners it has got brass pins everything the transitions are just beautifully done on this knife absolutely beautiful nothing i can't fault them some people don't like the way the pins are done on gec doesn't bother me in the slightest and um, they're not sticking up to whereas they would they would hurt me i can feel some of them because they're put in a wee bit deeper than others that doesn't bother me these are made by artisan craftsmen i keep saying that but they are just stunning and the function has to and you know in all said and done, it's a wee traditional pocket knife. It has to have function to make it a proper knife. The fit and finish, the, the, the look of the knife is nearly secondary, but it looks stunning. It's finished beautifully. Yes, it's going to be finished differently as far as the pins goes to the other knives. So what? That's GEC. And you'll get used to GEC. And if you like, you may buy them. It's dead simple. The two blades go... I'm going to start ranting the day. Just be careful. It could be coming. <laughs> so there we go. There's the two blades. A beautiful big clip point. Absolutely stunning. Plenty of belly. Nice long straight. Good depth to the blade. So it's a beautiful slicer. Look, let me tell you. You can go into your toolbox and the thickness behind the hedge on this little knife will be better than nearly every tool you have in your box. Again, even on this little blade, it is just on. This is a sheep's foot. A lot of people call these coping blades, but the coping blade to me is the one that comes more blunt. It just doesn't have a, a smooth bend. It just sort of goes joint straight over. But again, if that's what you want to call it, call it that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the knife that matters. Now, it's beautiful. It's got lovely walk and talk. This one, oh, this one does not have half stops this is a cam tang and by cam tang it just means that once you break the detent there is nothing between there and the end nothing 
Now, it will, if you break the detent, it doesn't slam right over. It doesn't slam until, once you get about here, you'll feel a little bit of resistance and you'll know it's going to go. That's it. That's a calm tang or just no. Now, I've been talking about GEC and I'm not a great lover of two blade knives, as you know, if you follow my channel. But the way you orientate the blades in a knife to make the grip comfortable is really important. And this is a work knife. This is made as a work knife. And I believe the blades were chosen as a work knife. This is great for your boxes or doing your straight cuts. If you want to cut a line across a bit of paper, this is just a work knife. Now, the reason that this, and listen to that walk and talk, is not just beautiful. I just love the walk and talk. Listen to that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Now, there's a knife and it's working use with the big blade, which again, every time I look at these clips, it just, they, oh, they just appeal to me so much. Now, you can see by the end of this little sheep foot and the end of the tang, there is a gap there. When you're holding the traditional knife, it's your first two fingers that normally put the pressure on it. Or the first one even sometimes. You don't, it's not a, you're not gripping this knife like you're, you know, like this, but you can. It's the first two fingers. Well, that's what I use when I'm when I'm going to push down because it's only a pen knife. This is not a big bushcraft knife. I shouldn't be using a knife that I'm going to have to grip like this and go like mad. Now in a push, it'll do it. But this grip here gives me two full fingers and I've got a nice curve here. This makes this knife an amazing work knife. And that's what's changing me over to the way GEC do their tools. They're just great work knives. That, that Does somebody think that out? I don't know. I just don't believe it's by accident. When you get a, a knife that's got a good girth, they picked a blade that doesn't come right up like a long pen blade, then you'll get on the on some of the models. This is built for getting two fingers that you can jam your thumb in here and get a bit of pressure to cut through because, like I say, the blade can take it. 1095 is a really robust steel. It really is. It doesn't last forever, but it lasts a reasonable amount of time. Incredibly easy to bring back on a strop. It's just a real good work knife. I just love it. And it's a full four finger grip. There's no, you know, I have a medium large hand and I can get a full four finger grip really easily. Stunning. Now, the other blade. Let's just get the wee sheep's foot out. This, again, for opening boxes, for doing draw cuts down on, on the table, is perfect. Look at the, Look at here. You've got your clip point here and you have another big gap. So you've got a really strong grip on this. Now, you shouldn't really need to be pushing on something like this, but it just gives you that freedom where it's not. This is a sharpening your pencil sort of knife. Do you know what I mean? Or cutting or opening a box. But it gives you where you can hold it in comfort. And I know it shouldn't really make that much of a difference, but it's nice when it happens. And it's nice when a company designs a knife to work and I believe this is what this knife was designed for having that thick handle and uh, it's not a stick but it's contoured if you look you can see the contour of the knife but look how well it's finished you know I, I when you look around the GEC and you think why can't other companies do that it's just look at the way they've finished that instead of having the the double thickness of the steel they put two brass liners in at the end there just to finish that knife off because the small blade doesn't come up to the end. I just Everything about the knife is just beautiful. I love it. So let's give you a couple of comparisons. I'll open this up. I don't have many. Like I said, I've never been a great lover of two blade knives. Or three blade. And now I've got about four two blade and a couple of three blades now. Um, which are to come and I'll show you them. The other one that I would have used a lot. And I haven't now for quite a while. Is a canoe pattern. And I, I picked this one because it's, I haven't got another equal end, but a canoe pattern is equal end, if you like. They both look, they both look very loosely. They both look the same. And you get a main blade. This is a spear work blade and a pen blade for the small blade. So, I mean, it looks in that vein of a work knife. If you look them together, the blades are very similar in size. But the difference that you feel when you hold 
a GEC in hand compared to the, this is a Rough Rider. And this is a brilliant knife. This is the carbon steel version. This takes a wicked edge, I have to say, a really wicked edge. It holds an edge for a reasonably good time. This is micarta. This is black micarta. Again, I like this when you can bring these up together because you can see that deep red micarta. It is a beautiful work knife and there's nothing wrong with it. It is a perfectly serviceable work knife. I could quite happily take away and work all day with it. Is it as good as the GEC? I'm sorry, it's not. It's, it's nice, you know, it's nice looking. It's well finished. There's swedges. It's got good snap to it. It doesn't have half stops. It's got the same, just a half cam tank. But when you hold it in your hand, this, this feels heavy. This feels... Um, now, I, I'm comparing it to a GEC, and that's not fair. This is well over £100. This is about £15, £20. Uh, so you can't really compare and contrast. This is a fantastic work knife. If you can't afford one of these, this, and if you want to go the in-between mode to the case, but this is a bargain. This is a bargain. This canoe is one of the best bargains Rough Rider do. It's solid. It will do you as a work knife. The fit and finish on it is really, really good. It is really good. I can't fault it at all. But when you hold the GEC, when you when you when you see the GEC, now there's a size. Let me just close this down again. I'll put them beside each other. There we are. They're near enough exactly the same size. So that'll give you a comparison if you have that. That's what size this is. But you can see the, the handle girth is a bit bigger on this. And it's just a bit stockier looking. But let me tell you, Rough Rider make an amazing product. Please, this is not a put down. I'll show you it again with the, there's a 93 millimeter. These must be about 95, 96. I'm not sure what they are. I haven't measured it. But, and this is reasonably light. This is not be over two ounces. Um, not much over two ounces. There's a standard Barlow. There's a case Barlow. There's a standard Barlow in size. Uh, so it's a bit sturdier, if you know, that's what I mean. It is a proper work knife. This is an EDC. This is an EDC come work. Now, will you work your GECs? <laughs> I don't work that hard anyway. But yes, I would take this out and quite happily work with it. This is not one of my high end, although I think it just looks so high end. The linen micarta makes this knife just look classy. But it's not one of the more... Um, higher end of GEC. The Northwood ones, I find it very hard to use because they look pretty and I like the blade edge and things like that. I still use them all lightly because I like using them. But as a work knife, I would definitely use this. It is a beauty. Now, I haven't yet. I have used it about the house and I've cut boxes with it and I cleaned it all up for, for here and it cleans up a treat. There's no marks being left on it. So it can be used, no doubt about it. So, and the other thing I like about GEC, this is this is one of the things that, I'll just get my wee torch here. Look at this here. Oh, that's a wee bit bright, isn't it? Oh, no, that torch is too bright. Right, if I leave that there, look how clean that is on the inside. And this is like a three-year-old knife, but it's still beautifully clean inside. Beautifully clean. As I say, the edges are so easy to keep on these with stropping. Um, and they do. 1095 is a great steel. It really is. I love it as a working steel. And, and that's what it is more than just a, a show-off steel. If they wanted to put M390 in this, it would be wonderful. But I don't need it. I don't need to go that extra mile. But, you know, if they weren't going to put the price up, I'll happily take it. <laughs> so there you go. Look. It's a beautiful knife. The number 35 Churchill or Equal End Pen Knife, whatever you want to call it. If you get a chance to buy one, I would definitely buy one. If you want a working GEC, you know, up, now they do bull noses and things like this, but this is like a posh work knife. You know, if you're going to do work around you know, your office or wherever the building you're in and you need a knife that's reliable to do any work that is called upon during the day, this is one, the 35, I would highly recommend. I'm not sure how hard they are to get. I'm sure it's not that easy, but if you get a chance, highly recommend it. It's worth your while watching the video just to see how good it is. 
Now, this is the way I carry it, just in a slip. There we go, it fits into that wee slip, goes in my pocket, and you don't see it. That doesn't take up any room. I can put it front pocket, back pocket, whatever you like, and it's just a matter of doing it. This is not a modern tactical pen knife. This is a traditional pocket knife that is meant to be used to work and to carry for doing odd jobs with. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If there's anything else I can do when I'm reviewing that you would like to hear or like me to cover, please let me know because I'm learning as much as you're learning from me. Trust me, I, I learn a lot more. So thank you so much indeed. Um, let me know what you think of. I just think it's a cracker and uh, well worth your money if you get the chance to buy one. Take care. Paddy's gone. All the very best. Bye now.